Today we will be going over accounts receivable turnover and day sales outstanding. Both of these ratios show the average amount of time it usually takes a company to be paid. We typically want these numbers to be smaller because that means we are collecting money faster. It is a two-step process to calculate the accounts receivable turnover. Step one is to find the average accounts receivable. Step two is to divide the net credit sales by the average accounts receivable that we found in step one. This is further explained on the next slide. Average accounts receivable is the beginning net accounts receivable plus ending net accounts receivable divided by two. We then take that number to find the official accounts receivable turnover. This is net credit sales divided by the average accounts receivable. Day sales outstanding. In the day, day sales outstanding, we use our accounts receivable turnover and basically just turn it in to days of the year. So we do 365 days divided by the accounts receivable turnover, and this puts our number into days. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what accounting class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all the details you need to know about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30 minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring session online, or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.